Our first part of Keystone Catastrophe is a 1988 excursion trip from Tyrone, Pennsylvania. Started this show as Pennsylvania K4 Pacific 1361. The 462 Pacific was built for the Pennsylvania Road back in 1918. Today, 1361 is under negotiation for firebox rebuilding and is currently stored in Altoona and the boiler is stored at the East Rod Tops narrow gauge line in Rockville Furnace near Orbisonia, Pennsylvania. With passengers aboard, 1361 slowly departs Allentown, bound for Tyrone. The return trip, the diesels will power the train back to Tyrone. We'll head back to Nittany on the Nittany and Bald Eagle Railroad. But today is a very special day for rail fans, as engine 1361 is powering a Q2 whistle, a three-chime whistle that was used for the, by the Pennsylvania duplex engines. The Q2s were 4464s four, and were one of the, and were the most successful out of, out of all the duplex engines on the Pennsylvania Railroad. Let's watch and listen as 1361 powers an excursion train to Tyrone. The 1361 passes through a number of tunnels on this portion of the line, including one on the road to Pocono Summit. The, the engine slowly backs the train down to a stop and the crew will once again begin the process of a photo run-by, one of three run-bys 1361 will see today. The engineer slowly increases its speed. 1361 whales past the depot.
One of the most amazing run bys is located here. This engine stops for a, for a photo shoot outside of Factoryville. With the engine halfway home, the engine almost in Scranton, 1361 slowly departs Factoryville. Most of the passenger cars are former Rock Island commuter cars, and some are Erie Lackawanna commuter coaches. A baggage car from formerly S Southern Pacific, and a Conrail business observation car, number 10 at the rear, and two former Conrail E9s round out the concepts. We'll see the E9s later as they power the excursion trip back to Tyrone. At 2 a.m. in the morning, engine 1361 finally arrives at the Steamtown National Historic Site in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The engine will be serviced there as, it will, as the engine will stay overnight in Scranton while the diesels power the train back to Altoona from Tyrone. 